But I was worried about that, you know, people were going to be afraid of all of these immigrants coming in and stealing their jobs and sucking off the government and that people would make sure that they came out and voted against this. So the next morning I, I wasn't surprised when, when I heard that the UK was going to leave the EU. Um, in Ireland, when we hold a referendum and they don't get the answer that they want, they've in the past held another referendum. So I wasn't worried because I thought that there was going to be another referendum on Brexit. And so once I got to work and everyone thought I was insane, I realised that was not going to happen and this was really serious. In speaking to the people who voted to leave the EU, I was surprised after the Brexit referendum um, how they just hadn't taken into consideration the implications it could mean for Northern Ireland. So um, with all the troubles in the past that this could resurface on the, the, the borders being um, put back in between the North and South. On a more positive note, um, for Ireland anyways, post Brexit, um, they have been doing a lot of work back home to try and attract business to Ireland um, so people could move their European headquarters to Ireland. Um, even Galway in the west of Ireland, where I'm from, there, there's plans to build a huge business hub to try and attract more business. Um, so there could be some good that comes out of it. I feel uncertain as to what the future holds. Um, for, for England leaving the EU and also for the relationship between England and Ireland, whether we can remain friends in that sense that we can freely travel back and forth, that you know I don't have to, to sort out having a visa to live here. Um, it's just, I just feel so uncertain. I feel the people that um, voted to leave needed to be a bit more considerate of those who live in their country and also those who may wish to live here in the future. Um, you know, this decision has made people's lives incredibly difficult. And, you know, this nostalgic thing of making Britain great again, it's, it's, it just feels, It feels like a slap in the face, really, for people who have come over here, come over to the UK to make a life for themselves, incorporated themselves in society here, and then to turn around and find out that half the country may not want you here or may not want all of these people here is, is, is hard to take. At the moment, it seems like there is potential for a united Ireland um, to come out of this. and. Um, I know part of me would like to see that happen, but also I know that it won't be smooth sailing trying to, to get that to happen. Um, as Northern Ireland was predominantly Remain in Europe, um, you know, it does seem like they, they do want to be part of the EU and maybe that means being part of Ireland as well. Um, and Scotland and Wales, I'm not so sure about, but again, there's potential for anything to happen, you know, no one thought we would leave the EU and we are, so <laughs> God knows. I left Ireland to move to London just over three years ago because London was full of opportunity that Ireland wasn't at the time and I feel really privileged to have had that opportunity of free movement to come over to London and you know, pursue a career over here. Um, it saddens me that this may not be the case um, after Brexit, that people won't be able to, to see London as this city of opportunity and the, and the UK. Um, and as for staying here, I, I hope to be here for the foreseeable future, but, you know, with this, these uncertain times, it's hard to know what it's, it's going to be like to live in the UK and whether or not I will want to live here post-Brexit. Um, I would like to add that we could always just hold another referendum and see how that goes.